Fashion advertisers, would you like to know how I increased my Shark Tank client sales 1900%? Watch this full video so I can show you the Google Ads strategy breakdown. All right, so hopping into the audit here, as you can see from the date ranges of February 7th to August 29th compared to the previous, we had 11x ROAS, 10,000 um, purchase sales, a cost per, cost per sale decreased $18 and spend scaled like crazy. So if I do a deeper dive at the percentages, that's a 300% increase in ROAS. Also, the revenue increased a thousand, a 1900% in terms of conversion value and sales, 1900% and spend tripled spend compared to the previous period. Okay, so the first problem with this account here, as I always do, I check the analytics. Um, so number one, it was using the universal analytics tracking um, for transactions, essentially. So when you're using universal analytics or old Google Analytics, it's gonna miss certain sales because of cookie policies. Google Analytics and GA and um, Google Ads Tag interact very differently with attribution models. Since the Google Ads Tag is a product of Google itself, it, it tends to be able to track better, have better attribution models and overall track more revenue. As you can see, if we just kept it on the universal transactions, it would have picked up less than half of the conversions. So just having the proper sales that are coming from Google being tracked is gonna allow us to invest and scale more overall in this account, which we're able to do. Also, as always switching these uh, secondary primary conversions like Google Ads, Add to cart and check out start to secondary so that we're not essentially um, optimizing for people that add to cart and give false revenue in this account, which would have been like almost $2 million in false revenue if we kept it on the track that it was going. Okay, next. Um, the other issue with this account was the search campaigns were essentially um, bidding, not optimized for revenue. So a lot of the bid strategies were essentially enhanced CPC. And this type of bid strategy, unless you have a cost per click goal, you should not keep it at that. So I talked to the client, discussed where our ROAS goal should be for certain types of campaigns. And we set experiments for target ROAS um, and maximize conversion type goals and run a 50-50 split test in Google Ads experiments in order to see uh, which one of these were running, were running better. And ultimately a lot of like target ROAS goals were performing much better overall. You can see the, some of the experiments that I ran um, over this uh, time period, essentially. Also with the search campaigns, a lot of them had low ad strength and were also targeting a lot of like broader match keywords. So basically updating the ad copy for a lot of these keywords to bring them up, making them responsive search ads and not having just regular um, expanded text ads, which the client had from like um, an old untouched account, from the account not being touched in a while and updating them to responsive search ads. Also incre increase the click-through rate, as you can see, like 71% for a lot of these, 29%. The click-through rates went up so much higher after essentially restructuring the ads, uh, making sure the ad groups were properly segmented as well so that we could pick up the best terms and also have the most relevancy for when people are searching for us. Cool. And then next on performance max. So our performance max campaign, this was the main new campaign that wasn't working for them prior. And essentially we restructured it so that it could be set in the right direction. So essentially taking an actual signal of its best performing converters, um, taking also um, customer lists, um, best performing keywords and making sure all of these were properly incorporated within the performance max campaign and structure overall so that it could scale properly. Also making sure the settings, people based in the United States only were seeing it, not people interested in the United States. All these things really helped um, improve the ROAS of this account overall. Okay, and then last but not least for on the remarketing side overall, so... Yeah. So also setting up video video and search remarketing was something that this account wasn't doing. As you can see from the remarketing for search, this has like a 12X ROAS, 
and the YouTube from what it's attributing has about a one X, but a lot of these are like assisted sales that help with brand search and all these other avenues that can't get tracked properly with view through conversions. So having this remarketing really completed the funnel for people that add to cart or view the website, but don't convert in incorporating customer match lists into these that weren't being used, linking the Google, linking the YouTube ads account as well, um, improved uh, essentially the audiences that we're using for YouTube remarketing as well. If they view, if they're subscribers, all these types of things really helped um, help the full remarketing funnel and allowed this client to get the amazing results that it did um, during the management. Last but not least, the last uh, variable the discount was missing was the Google Merchant Center and uh, promotional assets being um, refreshed on a consistent basis because we were, weren't tra tracking the promotions that we were running um, on time. So as you can see, when this promotion was added, it wasn't there before, but now it's getting like a 30 3x return on ad spend and 8% 8, 8 click-through rate. So this really helped um, optimize the click-through rate on shopping. And then as you can see from search, it also got a great return that helped the client as well. If you would like me to help you get a 1900% increase on your sales and revenue for your fashion brand, book a free one-on-one -on -one consultation below.